Um, let's see, what if I type in Rob? What am I going to get? Error, because that's a string, and it's struggling doubles. Input mismatch exception. Thousand points to Lexi, exactly. Rob, I'm sorry. You cannot be a sale price. No matter how hard you try, you will always just be a string. What if we make Rob Rob dot one? Maybe it knows Rob's first version. You're dealing with a double. That means you have 32 bits of data to work with. Wait, how are you? But yeah, it's an E. How are they? This is the literal. This is the literal value of a number for the next exponent. Oh, that's right. So it's 1.075 times 10 to the 35th. So basically a yacht. Pretty crazy. A what? Basically a yacht. You could buy a whole country of yachts <laughs> to the 35th. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're a person at the register, you're like, dollar seven. A dollar, that's a good deal. I'll take that deal any day of the week. You load that one up. Okay, um, so this was cool. A couple of closing comments. So you're probably thinking, well, why, why do all this work if I could just move this code up into main? Why separate out this task into one method? So we should get used to using multiple methods. That's why we're doing it here, yes. So but if I were coding a real program, I would still do this. You better believe. Well, organization, I mean, you can't code everything just in main. Why not? You could. You could just move that code up. It's so cluttered, because if you're building a huge program, and it's all in main, it's like... Undebuggable. Virtually undebuggable. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. So if I am writing code, the way that I write code is in method by method. And then I test each method. So essentially what we've done is we've made code that tests a single method. And if I'm confident looking at my output, I might even, if I'm doing something fancy, it's very possible that I might um, actually test it with a calculator. But if I see, okay, yeah, 7.5% tax on 100 is in fact 7.5. I can declare this method all set and then I can go and write something more complicated that say calculates a sales price on 50 different items and stores them in a big list and then ships them to the database and that's a big complicated process. So by isolating code in a single method I have made my life modular and I can debug f three lines of code and then get it out of my brain. I mean, part of the game in, in coding is how do you take a really complicated problem, break it down into something small enough that your brain can cope with it. Many coders will say, if I see a method longer than seven lines, I will tell the coder, I will not read this method. That, that's not being silly. That's saying our brain can work with, you know, they say five to seven, five to eight individual chunks of information. That's why your phone numbers are seven numbers long. Um, one of the reasons why your phone number is seven numbers long. Because we can remember that. So by writing code, doing a task that takes up to seven steps is a very manageable size of code. And I've also, not only is it manageable for my brain, but what if I need to calculate the sales price a couple of times? I'm not rewriting this code. I just have to call this method a second time in my code. You certainly could. That would be part of your, um, your final project is to develop a menu-like thing to work with three methods that you write that you think would be interesting.